Hey guys, it's Damien. And I'm Kennedy. And thank you so much for joining us. Now today we're talking about feeling lonely in our relationships. Now have you ever felt sad, lonely, overlooked, unheard, or not even seen in your relationships? Now, if that is you, this video is for you. Yeah. So we want to give you a couple of reasons why you might be feeling the way you are. And then we're going to give you some ways to kind of help overcome that. So the first one is that a lot of times individuals tend to drift apart yeah. in their relationship, especially when you've kind of been together for a while. You kind of take advantage, take each other um, for granted yeah. and just no longer have that spark and pursue each other like you used to. This can lead to lack of spiritual interest intimacy or physical intimacy for our married couples and even emotional intimacy which can have you feeling like you're alone even though you're with someone. So the second one is that you might not feel safe emotionally mm -hmm. or also feel that you can be vulnerable or transparent with your partner. Mm -hmm. well, one of the things that me and Kennedy usually say in our relationship is we want to be real in our relationship. You might not be able to be real in your current relationship. Now, why is that? One reason for this is abuse. Mm -hmm. There might be some history of abuse or um, some present abuse mm -hmm. in your relationship. So another reason for this is that you don't feel that you have a voice in your current relationship or that you can't voice your opinions now. So these are some of the reasons that causes that emotional absence in your relationship. Another reason is maybe there's scheduling conflicts in your relationship where you become so busy or significant other becomes so busy that you don't really see each other a lot and mm. you're you're spent farther apart and that can lead to unmet needs and expectations. Maybe you feel like you're all alone with the kids or your spouse is at work or whatever it may be. And some reasons for this might be because one or the other is married to their work, mm. married to career where they're chasing the the ladder and, and success and that's become a priority over their relationship and maybe there's work spouses at work because they spend so many hours together where they've created an emotional bond with someone else at work also we could be married to our phone and social media where we create discontentment and comparison and we are not really connecting um, with the person next to us but rather with people online and so all these things can contribute to feelings of loneliness in a relationship now we want to give you tips on how to correct and address this in your relationship. So the first tip is have a heart to heart with your significant other. Mm -hmm. Now, again, it, it doesn't matter if you're dating or in a marriage. This is sitting face to face with no distractions. Mm -hmm. You're communicating what's going on in your relationships. Now, if you're dating and the person does not want to change at all, it might be time to talk about splitting up for a season or forever because they don't want to make that commitment of changing. And so it might be time to let that relationship grow. Now, as a married couple, we do not subscribe to just getting divorced mm -hmm. and stuff like that. We actually encourage you to get counseling, bring other people into your relationship and help you walk through some of those difficulties that you may find in that relationship. That's so good. Now after you've had that conversation with your significant other and they're willing to change, now you can sit down and create new plans on how you're going to make those changes and set a vision for um, your relationship. And if you're married, your family and your, your kids, it's getting your priorities straight and putting actions to it. Now the next tip is creating connection time. Mm. Creating connection time. This is intentional time that you create with your significant other. For us, it's playing card games. Mm -hmm. We we do this a lot. We play Uno Flip. If you don't have Uno I Flip, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Uno Flip in two person space. This is what we do in our relationship. And yes, she does beat me a lot. But this is an, a connection. Another one is dating. You might need to go out on more dates mm -hmm. at our local church. Um, last year we had a challenge to go on 20 dates and we we did that now there was a couple older couple now they retired but they went on 80 dates together mm -hmm. and so statistics shows that if you go on eight dates at least eight dates a year your satisfaction of your relationship goes up so try to date more in your relationship so another thing is to cuddle with your significant other <laughs> Cuddle, have those connection for points. The folks. For, the, for the married <laughs> folks. You can cuddle with 
or a non marriage leads to But you can have <laughs> boundaries, okay? Have boundaries, have accountability for that cuddling. And then for the married folks, you can go a little bit further after <laughs> cuddling like kissing and doing all that other extra stuff. And so just being intentional. Just being intentional. Yeah. Another one is invite community. Get in a group of other couples that are holding each other accountable. A lot of times that can help sharpen your relationship. And even being poured into, you can also pour into other couples so too. Good. We do that now and it strengthens our relationship. And so invite people around other couples so they can encourage you because iron sharpens iron. And the last tip is to pray more often pray more often this is something that me and kennedy have tried to do over the last what two two and a half years of our marriage is to pray more often for each other that means at dinner in the morning at night whenever you can but pray more often and another thing that we do in our relationship that we have started since we have this little mm -hmm. child coming mm -hmm. is bless each other often mm -hmm. so as we pray more often we're starting to bless each other that's laying hands on each other and just blessing each other out of number six 24 and 26 may the lord bless you and may the lord keep you may his face shine upon you and be gracious to you may he turn his face towards you and give you peace look we can bless each other we're called to bless in the jewish faith they do this a lot especially on their sabbath they bless each other but we can bless each other each and every day. That's so good. And so we hope this helps. Make sure to send this to somebody. We have another video that you can check out. Again, my name is Damian Nash. And I'm Kennedy Nash. And we'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bless each other. <laughs> Uno flip. Uno. <laughs>